Today on App Judgment, Twitter apps for Android. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Hey, welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application show. My name's Ron Richards, and I'm the resident G1 owner here amongst the App Judgment crew. And sure, the iPhone may be sexy, but Android is on the rise, and we've had copy and paste from the beginning. One of the things I use my phone the most for, aside from making actual phone calls, is posting to Twitter. On this episode, I'm going to show you three apps that unlock the power of Twitter on Android with the hopes of finding the one that gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling inside. First up is Twitly, which is free from the Android marketplace, and I downloaded it because I like the icon, which is a little Raven-esque and not as cutesy as most Twitter apps can be. Once I loaded the application, I found out why Twitly is free. It's bare-bones simple, without any real flashy design or anything. Tapping on a tweet loads up a menu of actions from where you can tweet, reply to someone, or send a DM. Unfortunately, this is the only place to actually send a tweet from, and it took me about five minutes to figure that one out. Once I found it, talk about disappointing. No character counter, and no options for inserting pics or distinctions between tweets or DMs. It does have a hook into Google Maps, so you can see where on a map tweets are coming from, a feature that's cool to see, but I can't ever imagine using it more than once. Overall, Twitly is okay, but combine the weak interface design with the shoddy tweet entry screen, and I'm not feeling it. So when the G1 came out, the first Twitter client on the scene was the Tweedroid, and was the application I probably used the most. Free in the marketplace, Tweedroid has gone through a lot of evolution since it was first released. One of my favorite things Tweedroid has is the ability to adjust the number of tweets that show up in the app, between 50 or 250, which, if you follow a lot of people like I do, is key. I hate missing on posts in my timeline because the application won't let me load all of them. Tweedroid does lack a bit in the tweet entry box. They kept it super simple, which is okay, but it's almost too simple. You've got a character count, the ability to put photos or locations in, but no options for a tweet versus a direct message. One of the reasons why I stopped using Tweedroid was because it was a memory hog. Updating my timeline took forever and it ate up a ton of my phone storage. But a recent update to the application features the ability to choose where to store your memory cache, on your SD card or in the phone's internal memory. It also features an easy way to clear that cache, which totally eliminates the storage issue. That said, the app can still be slow when downloading tweets and can be a bit sluggish. If you want to make an impact online, GoDaddy.com has what you need. .com names as low as $1.99, plus world-class hosting and fast and easy website builders and much more. You can get 20% off your hosting plan orders of one, two, or three years by going to GoDaddy.com and using the promo code JUDGE6. Or you can head to revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy to see all the codes that are available from App Judgment. Oh, hey, sorry, I was just checking Twitter. So for $2.99 in the app marketplace, you can pick up iTweet. You're probably thinking to yourself, three bucks? It better be worth it. And I had the exact same thought. But the moment I loaded iTweet, I could see why it cost money. iTweet is the best design of all the Twitter clients I've used. They provided tabs at the top that allow you to filter your timeline, including a filter for at replies or your posts, direct messages, as well as the users you follow or users that follow you and your favorites. By hitting the menu button, you can get a menu of functions, Press here to load the tweet entry screen from where you can choose to tweet or DM. It also features a big screen for entering your text with that much needed character counter, and you can also add your location or a photo. The settings area is the most fleshed out of all the apps I've seen. There's a whole section dedicated to the styling of the app where you can set the theme for the look and feel, the font size, as well as a bunch of other options. You can turn on or off checking for tweets automatically and set the duration. There are a ton of ways to customize your notifications, including changing the color of the LED flash, which is something I've never seen before, and separate ringtones for tweets versus at replies versus DMs. My only complaint with iTweet is there's no control to the number of tweets downloaded in your timeline. This isn't a problem if you have auto refreshing on, you'll get all your tweets. But if you're like me and turn that off to save battery power, you run the risk of missing tweets since your last refresh. I don't think I've ever said the word tweet so much before, but these are the things we do for you here on App Judgment. That said, here's your breakdown of Twitter apps for Android. Twitly, don't download. A bad interface for reading and writing tweets makes this not worth your time. Tweedroid. Download. With the recent memory management updates, this free Twitter app is worth it. iTweet. Download. For a mere three bucks, you get what I think is the best Twitter experience. So what do you think? Did I miss a great Twitter app for Android? Or do you know of any other apps you think we should check out? Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com.